Jeremy Veldman with the Memphis Astronomical Society. I'm in Perryville, Missouri. Behind me, you can see a lot of concrete. I'm at the Perryville Airport. Got a lot of space here to work with. This is ground zero for the eclipse in August. Right on the center line, two minutes and 40 seconds of duration. Going to host a big event here, have room for a lot of people. We're going to have all the resources that you need. Food, water, solar eclipse glasses, a cooling station, everything. Now, I need to know how many people are coming because this is kind of where we're planning. Today is a beautiful day, June 19. If it's like this, two months and two days from right now, it's going to be a perfect day to view the eclipse. Perryville, Missouri, right on the center line, Perryville Airport. I'm going to show you some clips now so you get an idea of the site. Citizen Kate's going to be here. Adler Planetarium in Chicago is bringing a group. Uh, CMO is going to be here, so there's going to be some astrophysicists as well as ordinary eclipse people. But this is a great spot to view the eclipse. Wide open horizon. Great opportunity not only to see the corona, but also the shadow bands and the twilight effect. It's fantastic. Perryville, Missouri, ground zero, airport right on the center line. Here's some more footage to show you where, we are, where we're going to be at. Chopper parked here, an EMS chopper. So you got food trucks and EMS chopper. Yeah, uh, it's right we'll, here. We'll have eclipse glasses, food, drinks. Eclipse um, glasses, food, drinks. You know, everything to keep everybody uh, happy and going for the day. <laughs> Basically, a supply chain right here. Absolutely. Eclipse glasses, food, drink, uh, porta potties. Porta potties, and lots of. Uh, Eclipse enthusiasts and aviation <laughs> experts. Uh, Adler will be here launching two of their balloons. One is going to have a 360 camera on it. Wow. Uh, we'll also have uh, two, uh, uh, three astrophysicists here. Three radio, astrophysicists, okay. Uh -huh, one radio physicist, and so they're going to be talking to us about things that are going on, um, what we can expect, and, and all of that good stuff. So we're excited to have them going to do some talks for us. Outstanding. Where are they from? Um, they are from Chicago. From Adler, Chicago. Yes. Got it. Adler Planetarium out of Chicago. Outstanding. And then you said the Citizen Kate site is right right there. Yeah, so we'll have Citizen Kate here, uh, SEMO University, Dr. Peggy Hill and Dr. Michael Rogers are uh, heading that team. They'll have some of their students here. Um, they are starting to do some test uh, photography. Uh, last weekend they were supposed to do some and I think they're going to do two solar tests and two lunar tests with their uh, scope and the photography material uh, equipment that they were provided with. So they're uh, they're getting in practice and gearing up for the big day as well. Outstanding. So we'll have all the resources we need. A flat sky, all the food, uh, restrooms, um, drinks, mm -hmm. solar eclipse glasses. We'll have solar physicists, radio astrophysicists, Citizen Kate. All we need is this. A lot of blue sky. Okay, so this is the hangar at the Perryville Airport. And you can see a lot of concrete around me. All of this concrete is going to be available for people to set up and view the eclipse on Eclipse Day. Absolutely beautiful day today, June 19. And of course we've got SEMO and Citizen Kate that are going to be here. People from Adler up in Chicago are going to be here. We're going to launch some balloons out of this hangar. Um, there's going to be a big screen here. There's going to be all the facilities that we need. Porta potties, uh, food trucks, a cooling station, uh, plenty of solar eclipse glasses, and maybe even a shuttle service to get people here. But we can get a couple hundred people here easily. And there's already other groups that are going to be here as well. So. This is kind of ground zero. I'm right on the center line, two minutes and 40 seconds of duration. It's about the maximum duration for this total solar eclipse. All we need is a day like today. It's June 19, so we're two months and two days out. So this is the kind of day that we need and a great spot with all the facilities and all the amenities that we need to view the American, the great American eclipse coming in August. The key to the the concrete coming up. Okay, so even though we got crops to the right, a little bit of that yeah. grassy area is available. Beans get up to waist high. Waist four, high. Four foot. Okay. So it won't obstruct the horizon too no, much. No, no, you'll be well above the horizon. Perfect. So 
this is Sabre Liner Aviation and the entire concrete strip is the ramp and it is available for viewing a nice flat horizon here. Sabre Liner Aviation adjacent to the Perryville Air. So we're at Sabre Liner Aviation across the way. You can see the door open for the hangar. Um, that's where the Citizen K project is going to be. They're also going to launch a couple balloons. And of course, the concrete strip is going to be available for viewing. They're estimating 110 aircraft coming in that day. Over two weeks. It was two weeks ago that they actually scheduled or started reserving this territory. So we're getting in kind of on the ground floor. June the 19th, we're two, two months and two days out. You can see we got an absolutely gorgeous day. So this would be the day to see the eclipse. But we can get a group of 150 to 200 in now. So we're kind of getting in on the ground floor for this. So CMO is going to be here. And then also, uh, this will be the site for Citizen Kate, correct? Yes. Right here. On the Perryville side of the airport. We just were over there a few minutes ago. That was previously inaccessible due to military contracts. But you can see we've got uh, a wide open horizon and then all the facilities that we should need right here including food, water, porta potties, solar eclipse glasses, um, astrophysicists from Adler, Citizen Kate project, and then I'm told plenty of space for a couple hundred people if we need it. Yep. Yes. yes. That's our checklist. Confirmed by my source right there. <laughs> Lifetime native of Perryville, Trish Ertzfeld. Memphis, it's here. Memphis, this is it. This is the spot. <laughs> Okay, another shot of the Perryville Airport. That's where we're targeting. And then across the way is another hangar that's gonna be available also. And it is exactly 1.20 in the afternoon right now, June the 18th, or June the 19th. And this is exactly when totality would occur. So we are looking for a day like this. And we are looking for a horizon like this. And we're targeting again Perryville Airport. So this is downtown Perryville. Really nice downtown area. They're renovating the courthouse. But on Eclipse Day, they're going to have Eclipse Fest here with a lot of activities, a lot of restaurants, shops. It starts on Friday evening and goes until Monday, August 21. So it starts exactly two months from today, August 19. So, a lot of activity going on in Perryville. 